Here's the BD006 Haikunt Solar Light. 792 LED beads at a 120 degree angle. A 40,000 milliamp per hour battery illuminates backyard evenings like a movie set. A 6 to 8 hour charge gives more than 18 hours of light. 300 watts and 40,000 lumens illuminates 3,000 square feet. Even in the rain and inclement weather, no electricity bills or wiring. Welcome to Eclectic Ideas. Guess what's happening? We're unboxing the Haikunt BD006 Solar Light. Grab the instruction manual and a sidekick to help you mount this bad boy. There's a mounting plate and an arm pole that's going to connect to this light. This guy packs 300 watts and 40,000 lumens. We've got a veritable buffet of mounting screws here. And mounting bracket. A remote control with a range of 8 meters or 26 feet. Perfect for those I forgot to turn it off moments. Here's some technical data. And is it an umbilical cord? Get ready for the big reveal. It's a new solar panel. This guy's gonna charge the light that illuminates all our backyard evenings. Here's an up-close look at the 792 LED beads angled at 120 degrees. Let's grab the solar panel and let's get right to the assembly. Flip this guy over on its little tummy. In this position, we can affix this mounting bracket to the back of the solar panel. All we have to do is line the mounting bracket up with the screw holes on the back. Now that that's aligned, let's go ahead and find the right screws and the nuts that fit with them. Now we're getting to the nuts and bolts of the assembly. For this installation, you may want some thin-fingered friends because this nut actually goes underneath the lip of the solar panel and then you just tighten it into place. Once in place, we called upon the services of our trusty Phillips head screwdriver for the rest of this operation. The magnetic screwdriver came in very handy during this process. So let's bolt and run to the next step, which involves affixing the pivoting bracket arm to the mounting bracket we just attached. Set it, affix the screws to each side by just tightening the nuts here, like so. This pivoting arm is gonna allow our solar panel to tilt as needed, whether it's to help your light fit in the space you have or whether it's to aim the solar panel for the greatest solar gain. Now here's the arm that's gonna support the light. Since we're mounting on a six foot fence, we want it to go as high as we can, so we're turning it this direction. Now to attach this arm to our light, we're just gonna take the light, we're gonna flip it over, and basically what we want is this little cord to go into this pole and come out through this hole. Let's finagle a bit through this little tight space and get this cord out of this hole. Once the cord's out, we're turning the pole over because we want that arm facing up. That'll get the light as high as we can so it disperses over the most area. Now the folks at Haikunt have a mounting pole you can buy. Or if you can mount it somewhere, if you can perch it up on your house somewhere that's 16 to 20 feet, that's going to distribute the light over the full 3,000 square foot area. We can't do that. Now we're just allen wrenching these screws to the back of the, the pole. Since we're just mounting to a six foot fence, we can't get that much elevation, so. Now we're gonna mount this bracket at the back of our metal fence post. We got the highest fence post we could. And now we need to bolt that front one to the back one. And this is where you need your friends to lift their arms until they're exhausted while you screw it in. Now we used a little included wrench for torque and we got the adjustable wrench to go ahead and ratchet these into place. And here it is in place with the arm tilting upward. Next, let's grab our little giant ladder and install our solar panel. These screws go in our solar panel. Let's grab a screw and affix this guy to this platform right here and see how it tilts to whichever direction you need. We ran into a teensy little snag right here. With the screw facing down, there was no room for the nut. So we turned the screw upwards and we bolted the nut in. Now this cord you see here from the light needs to go into the cord from the solar panel. We're gonna connect these two and then we're going to tighten this little screw cap or protective cap over it. We noticed the cord was kind of dangling when we got done. Now the cables are connected, so let's go up here and let's screw this in here so that that solar panel is tightly affixed to the pivoting arm. And that's what it looks like, all connected. We went ahead and unplugged the cable and just looped it around the pole and reattached it so that it wouldn't, you know, get storm damage and get battered up in the wind and stuff. Just be sure that when you plug these things in, these two arrows are pointing toward each other. Somehow when we first connected it, we put them backwards and it wasn't charging. Once you put the two arrows together facing each other, then it will charge. It'll show you on the battery indicator here that it is charging. And we, we had wondered why it wasn't, and, and we figured it out. And you can avoid our mistake. So here's the remote. It has the on and off functions, and it has the six hours, eight hours. It has different modes down here. Just pull off the back of the battery case and pop your batteries in there, and you'll be ready to go. Just hassle-free solar lighting magic. 
Let there be light. No electricity bills, no wiring, no expensive electricians, just hassle-free solar lighting magic. Enjoy a securely lit yard, patio, garden. Just enjoy your evenings outside and take your yard back. So much of our yard, we really couldn't see in it after dark. I'd round this corner to take the dog out. I couldn't see anything. And look how great it's working, even in the rain, even on overcast days. The IP66 rating makes it a weather warrior. And yes, our team really went out in the rain to get this picture for you. The handy remote can Control has a range of 8 meters or 26 feet, dims down to 30% with your remote control or whenever it doesn't detect motion. And then you can make it brighter, up to 100%. It's a real help not to have to take the flashlight out to walk the dog, right? It's great to have two corners of our yard lit. It feels safer and there's less danger of tripping in holes. I'm delighted with the Haikunt BD006 Solar Street Light. This is a commercial light and I think you'll be really happy with it too. We can easily walk out to the hot tub and see. I can go out to this side of the yard at night, take the dog. Give Haikunt solar lighting a try. Thanks for watching Eclectic Ideas. Bye-bye.